the Real Men's Channel with Player Supreme. Okay, this show is for Mobile 3999. Uh, yes, I'm actually doing a show to speak to you directly. They're mobile, so don't try to say, oh, you did a whole show for me. <laughs> you guys like to do that kind of stuff to make the person look small. It doesn't work on me. Okay, I'm from the real world. I'm about an internet person. Now, in our dialogue, um, mobile made a comment about uh, not hoe chasing that I responded to and laughing at his friend that did. And he said, I used to play those silly ho chase games when I was 18. My sex drive was out of control. Now he has no sex drive, apparently. But obviously he's self-satisfying, whacking off. So he doesn't have the desire to, to um, chase women anymore. He's actually turning women down. He'd rather go home to his computer and make love to the computer. So I, I made a detailed comment to him. Uh, to mobile, when I capitalize a word, that's to emphasize something. It's not because I'm mad, all right? When I get mad, I cuss. Let's go over his comments. Are you mad because you think I failed one of your courses? I know that you've never taken one of my courses. Okay, that's always been my belief. You're MGTOW. You guys don't do anything to improve yourself. I mean, come on. Think logically. MGTOW, you guys are males who have given up. A man that tries to improve himself is not a male that's going to give up, okay, on the dating game. I don't care if it was – I don't care if the dating game was – fucked out there where you can only see women, let's say, at 11 o'clock at night. Any other time, you're not even allowed to talk to them. I'd work with that and still have gotten laid. Okay? I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up. <clears throat> so I'm not mad. I'm not mad right now either. If it makes you feel better, I've actually never bought any of your books. I already knew that. You talk like a guy that's never tried to do anything for himself. You're MGTOW. I mean, come on. What are you guys ever going to do for yourself to improve your lot in life? Nothing except make your videos and whine about the situation of the dating game, whine about women. The reason I say this is because you're raging. No, I'm not raging. Because I made a detailed response to you, that's what I do. I'm trying to teach. See, you think it's all about you. And my comments are to you, but they're also for my guys to learn from. When I see people like you, I use you as an example, okay? As a tool. The reason I say this is because you're raging and also claiming that if I had listened to you, I would have gotten laid, which is kind of funny. Really? Well, why don't you say that to all of the thousands of males who have listened to me and gotten laid, who actually listened and did everything I said. Even the ones who, who listened and did, did half of what I said and put their own shit in it have gotten laid, okay? Uh, P.S. Red Pill, now I'm not even gonna go there with that shit, okay? You're using a, a coin phrase that started on the Pimps Network, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter what you name it. Actually, it does matter. Names have power. Okay? Words have power. Men govern with words. Disraeli. Look it up. The fact is about getting what we perceive as truth and examining the world, not just dating. Then why have you given up on dating? See, you're trying some semantical bullshit. The fact's about getting what we perceive as truth and examine the world, not just dating, which is all subjective, of course. Well, the subjective part and the non-subjective part, you guys don't get laid. That's the reality part of it. 
You guys have given up and get to walk your own way. Still talking shit about women the whole day. I have been there myself. And yes, I'm a loser virgin. I knew it. Live in my parents' basement who spends all his time here. Well, I, I, I kind of figured you, you were a virgin. Uh, I didn't know you lived with your parents, though, with mommy and daddy. Play the race BS. Uh, the race push was to motivate you and, and the other people reading it. Okay. I'm a white man. Yes, sir. I know that. Okay. So it's not like you got some feelings from it. You got emotional. You're the one who's who's getting all emotional there, fella. See, I'm trying to trying to motivate you and manipulate you into getting out there and doing something by any means necessary. And anyone who reads that. See, I'm trying to let, make it like a simple old black man in Sacramento is when I think got pussy. Why can't you? What you don't realize is that you're white. You're in this this side of the world. The dominant people in this, this country are white and Canada, right? So most of the majority of women out there are white. You're already halfway there. White women, the majority of them want white men. You're already halfway there. And you give up. Then you go into, obviously, getting racial. See, I was putting myself down as a simple black man, but you didn't see it that way in your anger. Do you fools even use condoms? Yes. Now look at the number of white women that go in for abortions. At one point, the, the white women were using it as birth control. See, so don't come up with some shit you know nothing about. Because I can go in there and give you some real facts. And yes, I know that's risen up in the black community as well. That's why they put Planned Parenthoods in our communities to encourage black women to kill black babies. Do you fools even use condoms? Racial attack. See, I made fun of myself, belittled myself. Any, anything get you, get you motivated and you wanna come in and try to put my race down. How very white of you, man. Maybe that's why there's so many diseases in the AA community and deadbeats. <sighs> AA is African American community, fellas. <sighs> wow. Let me do something real quick. I want to check something out. Just give me a minute. <clears throat> Dropout rate for blacks, American Indians, Alaska Natives, Hispanics were considerably higher than, than for whites. Yes, <clears throat> we know that. Differences commensurate with observed disparity in STD, burden 6-9. Many Hispanic <coughs> ethnicity face additional barriers arising from immigration, undocumented citizenship. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> okay, chlamydia. Uh, missing gonorrhea, missing information on race, ethnicity, okay, syphilis, missing information on race, ethnicity, range from 0% to 21.9 among the states with 10 or more cases of syphilis. Hmm. It'll wipe syphilis down to almost nothing. I'm looking at the stats <clears throat> for... Um, well, they're only looking at minorities on this one. 
I want to get an actual number of percentage or number figure for minorities and STDs. I can go get the one for whites as well. A lot of blacks do use condoms. I do know that because they don't want they don't want babies. But the ghetto blacks <clears throat> do not, just like white trash, don't use them. There are more white trash than there, than there are ghetto blacks because there are more white people in this country. What they would consider, you know, below the poverty line. And that's a fact out there. But I don't want to do a do a racial thing like this fellow did. Uh, last thing, nobody's afraid of a gosh damn hole, dude. Dude, bro, Seth, dude, dude. <laughs> uh, mobile. My channel's really not the channel for you there, fella. You're a big towel. So already you don't put yourself in a box that says, I'm not going to grow. I'm not going to change. And my challenge for men that want to change. I'm trying to talk to you straight up. Okay. This is not the, the environment for you. And your comments are not really needed nor welcome here. It's my house. You know, if you had a channel, you have it, you can do everything, anything you want with it. You invite people in, you can reject people. As the leader of this channel, I have to decide who's a good mix. Because some people bring in a bad energy. Like I just made some comments to some black dudes on another channel. And I immediately blocked them because I didn't want them coming here, bringing bad energy here. Okay? It's not a racial thing. It's a personality thing. And I want my guys to grow in their lives. Your path is not about growth. I don't see anything masculine about sitting there giving up and claiming you're going your own way, being an incel, staying a virgin. Do you know what you're going to look like at 40 years of age and still a virgin? Right now, you feel some kind of prideful thing from this whole MGTOW thing. It gives you this false sense of pride and belonging to a group, like a gang, or it's online gang. By the way, the first gangs were white people in this country. This old movie, it's a musical actually, called West Side Story. It takes place in the 50s. There were no black gangs back then. But let's continue this. Before jumping to conjecture, saying one must be gay, or asexual, take some time to examine and think about what MGTOW is. Sure, there are many phonies out there, but listen to Stardust. He's a great philosopher and mas a masculine man gets women. Understand that, okay? You don't understand what energy is. Your masculinity comes from your drive, your balls, okay? When that energy lights up, it attracts feminine energy. That's the way nature set it up. How can it be a masculine man just sitting there, just being masculine all over himself? And other dudes, think about that. He's attracting other dudes, but no females. I think somebody pulled the wool over your eyes, buddy. He's sitting there sweating all masculine energy. I say he's not masculine. Because if he was, he would handle his business like a masculine man whoever the Stardust is. There's only one MGTOWER that I list, I've listened to, and he's a brother. He's been out there in the game. And he has some bad things you know, happen with females, so he's taking a break. But he can go out and get pussy. And I'm going to do a show with him so you can watch. And you'll see this brother isn't all about giving up like the rest of you guys are, squashing their balls down. Do you know that's what they want you to do? 
is become ball of sacks of shit. You just did a job for them. Maybe that's one of you make towers. They don't want you breeding, creating more babies. And then you're white. Isn't your race already in goddamn trouble with a negative birth rate on the planet? Think about that. If it's happening to you, this happening to other people. If, if I were you, I would just breathe for that, just for that fucking reason right there alone. I know it sounds irresponsible, but because they want to shut me down, fuck you, you don't control me. Just to be obstinate, I go out, I would go out and start fucking women, not actually deliver, literally creating kids, but just fucking. Well, it, this is what I'm going to do. Since I'm the teacher here, and when someone is a bad mix, and then you got racial. That's the thing that gets me is you you went down to the whole talk shit about my race. I'm going to. Do I block or unblock? Do I rather do I block or leave it alone? Nothing good can come of our of our community. You can watch, can't do anything about that, but um, you've lost your your word here, your voice here. Okay. You can recreate yourself and get a new get a new channel, all that kind of stuff. But I'll be able to recognize your words. 